This is Todd. And currently, he's in a not so good situation. As Todd is trapped in the middle of a research facility, in the middle of a massive city, in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. Not only that, but the cherry on top is that the zombies can run. They they can run fast. So, how will Todd survive and navigate this hell zone? By taking it to the roofs, of course, making our own highways and setting traps in order to travel from building to building. If we survive long enough, we might just be able to make it to the border checkpoint, where supposedly a helicopter lies, just waiting to whisk us away from this nightmare. Though that's gonna be a while from now. It's gonna be a test of survival until then. Also, before we get started, Rick's Detrix Roof Sprinter series is what really got me inspired to make my own challenge. So go check them out as well. Link in the description. Welcome everyone to another series for Project Zomboid. Uh, I'm sure this isn't how Todd envisioned his uh, Saturday evening at all. Currently, we are trapped inside the Finnegan Research Facility within Louisville, Kentucky. The apocalypse took over pretty fast, but Todd here was able to shut down the stairs before the zombies could get up, so this place is relatively secure, as much as I would hope at least. <laughs> uh, being a janitor and all, we have a few necessities that we did start with. A lunchbox filled with some fast food, cigarettes, a broom, welder goggles, a hammer, a saw, a propane torch, and an assortment of just random mishmash that might come in handy later. Looking down there, I realize that we're not going to be able to get out much, so I think we ought to explore this whole facility just a tiny bit to figure out what the hell we got going on around here. It's going to be a lot of useless junk like this place. It's just a bunch of offices, but you never know what we could find. Though I am hoping we find a bunch of electronical supplies and uh, hopefully desk chocolates. That would be pretty nice. I mean, gosh, look at this place. It is absolutely filled to the brim, and we have ourselves a quick little break room. Let's go check that out. We got a garbage bag, an empty bottle, which I can use for a water bottle, post-apocalyptic nights, a single bag of chips, and a single soda. Matter of fact, I might honestly drop off my toolbox here because it only has a 15 weight reduction and an 8 capacity, compared to a garbage bag, which has 10, which is a little bit less, but more uh, actual capacity. Yeah, I think that'll be a good call. It gets the same job done, and how about we just empty out our lunchbox as well? I decided to spawn in with a little bit of food because, you know, being in an office research facility and all, I was kind of doubting I'd be able to find much food supplies. So we'll just shove these bad boys right on in there. Okay, on to the third story then. Thankfully, everything up past the uh, first story is going to be relatively zombie free, so we don't need to worry about too much going on, but I'm still kind of worried at the same time. We have a set of offices within here. The cubicles would do very good for fighting sprinting zombies. And not only that, we have ourselves a pencil, which is pretty awesome as we can now mark down exactly where we are at all times. Ain't that pretty cool? <laughs> I need to find an eraser. Now, as I am searching through these desks, I'll be completely real with you. I'm going to need to do a lot of strategy if I am to survive this nightmare. And oh, is that a boombox stereo and some cigarettes? Well, all right. Whoever was in this cubicle knew how to party. I'll take that right now, though we are going to need to drop it off later. But anyways, like I was saying, and with this uh, boombox we got here, we're going to need to use strategies like making noisemakers, setting up radios, televisions to try and distract the hordes so we have enough time to loot around the area because we are playing on insane population. Just something to keep in mind, you know. Hey, there's our eraser. I, I, I can also eat the eraser should it get hard enough, but I don't think we're there yet. <laughs> For now, I'm literally going to be taking everything, including the radios, as those would do very good for a quick distraction. A prolonged distraction at that. Ooh, okay, we have ourselves a nice little break room. Well, I think this would be the best spot to actually set up a quick base camp. It's not up near the roof, which I'm kind of sad about, but... Everything else, I mean, we have fridges, and a nice couple microwaves, a coffee maker, some lockers for storage, and a couple of couches to sleep on. And not only that, we have ourselves a, uh, a nice little succulent. Isn't that great? Yeah, 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 we'll set up right here. So what do we got in these lockers as well? A couple of, uh, cassettes, 
crossbow bolts, a bunch of old school RuneScape uh, cassettes. I thought it'd be a good one to use that isn't copyright free if we do need to, you know, really set the mood and set up a nice distraction. And a power of air pressure guide. I was hoping for like a bag, but we did not get that lucky. Okay, let's go set up all of our stuff now and you know, kind of get stuff organized. I'm going to be taking everything inside here and setting them up in the fridges. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. Though I am going to go ahead and grab all of our fresh food and pop that in the freezer while we still have it to go around. We're going to need to ration these out for a while, so making it last as long as possible is always perfect. Okay, time to drop off our radios. We'll set up a nice pile here. There we go, we got a nice little pile set up with our bulk crafting supplies, and in this one, our electronic crafting supplies. It ain't the best right now, but it sure is a good start. I mean, if we're gonna be here for a while, we'll might as well make it feel like home, you know? So, what else do we have around here? A couple of bathrooms that'll be perfect for pipes, metal bars, a big old set of filing cabinets, which are basically useless to me right now. Even more offices, which I bet have a whole abundance of radios and other goodies for us to yoink. I'll be real though, most of this is going to be materials for us to bridge over to the nearby buildings, because we are very far out from anything close by. And even the things that are close by are going to be infested by sprinter zombies, so... Am I really gonna make it far? But this is going to be my actual hub for, uh, moving between places. And that is because if we uh, smash this out really quick, remove this broken glass, and hop on out, we have ourselves a free avenue to uh, begin our bridging needs. Uh, you know, we could go to those homes up there, we could go north. The main thing is that this has multiple areas for us to leave from, right? A lot of options is something you really can't go wrong with. I mean, we could go literally from anywhere from this story. So I think it'll be the best one for us to be for our base camp. Other than that, though, I'm just going to go grab anything crazy like radios, boom boxes, stuff that makes a lot of noise. And of course, the copious amounts of cigarettes. We already got 140 of them bad boys, so we're set for life. Not a bad haul, though. We got a couple radios, another boom box, a few more cassettes, and some vitamins. Time to drop it off back at home. You know, I really do feel like Todd is not going to enjoy his time here in this series, judging from his moodles already. But hey, nothing a quick Siggy can't fix. That should, uh, stop us from being so anxious. Won't help with the boredom, though. And now that we're chugging this soda down, we can head up to the next story. This is where stuff starts to get a little bit funky, and, um, the whole logistics of this research company starts to... scare me to my very core. <laughs> uh... I did mention we were in a research facility, right? Oh, cool, hand torch. Anyways, like I was saying, stuff starts to get a little bit weird with the armored, locked off doors for no real reason. Actually, so locked that we're gonna need to bust through with a hammer and screwdriver. But, uh, yeah, the weirdness don't really stop there as I can enter this room here and there are cages. This is supposed to be like a research facility. I'm not sure exactly what they got going on in here, but I don't really like the cut of its jib. But hey, we got a lemon and lime. That's food. Hell yeah. Who am I to judge? You know, who am I to look at these animal cages and these dissection tables and think something's wrong? I just get paid to clean stuff up, you know, so I, I see no problems with it. And hey, we got ourselves some medical supplies in here. That That's pretty damn epic. I don't see myself getting wounded much, but it sure is a nice thing to know that we have it. That uh, seems to be it here, though, so I'm going to go explore some of the other areas that we haven't been to. Up next, we have another armored door, which I can easily just bonk my way on through. That's the uh, power of being a handyman in a not-so-handy situation. We got another staircase up. Scarily, it's the only staircase up in th this entire building to like go to the fourth floor. 
And it looks like we have ourselves a nice security office. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I mean, you know, they're a big fan of their RuneScape soundtracks, but more importantly, we got a holster, some 9 mil rounds, which will do great as a distraction. An M1005 revolver. Okay, nice 38 snubby. I'll take it. 10 extra rounds. And one more box of uh, 9 mil. Now, uh, I'll be real. Guns in this series are going to be less of a uh, offensive weapon than more of a distraction for me to use to move these idiots all around the area. But it's still it's kind of reassuring to have a little bit of heat, you know? I don't get paid enough for this job is what I'm trying to say. On to the next story then. Which uh, includes even more offices. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, I really don't see these being any use really at all other than just extra planks for us to build with. But it's still pretty cool that this place is so big, filled with the most useless things. We got some pliers. That's pretty epic. I should be checking the trash more often. Oh, man. Oh, we have even more testing facilities. These seem a little bit more ethical, though. You know, they're just microscopes. A, a, a lot of microscopes and computers. Is that it here? Oh, it's kind of open for, I don't know, something cool. What do you got in the fridge? Bacon, tomato, and cheese. W what else? And three things of ice cream. Yeah, that seems to be it here. I guess I'll go grab uh, all the food and I will see you all in the morning. Alrighty, welcome back. It's day two already. We're a bit hungry, we're a bit bored, and we're a bit weepy. I think we ought to start our morning like we always oughta. And that's with a cup of joe. So let's go fill up this mug that I grabbed. Add in a little bit of coffee, a sugar packet for a little bit of sweetness, and a squeeze of your favorite fruit ever, lime. This will be a good breakfast. So let's go pop the bacon in the microwave and get this coffee cooking up with the good stuff. There we go. Oh. It's ready. We got our bacon and our coffee. <laughs> All right, let's go chow this good stuff down now. Delicious and nutritious to start off today's big day. And of course, a cigarette to wash it all down. I think it's time we explore the rest of this building to see what kind of secrets it has. And then it's uh, gonna be a big old plan for the future. I don't know what's really outside from this research facility, but we're gonna figure that out together. Ooh, nice little break lounge with a couple of potatoes. Sadly, no seeds, so we can't cultivate these. And even if we could, we don't have, uh, we don't have dirt to plant, you know, plants with. So we're going to be relying off of, uh, all this food that we've been getting for a while. But it's quite the haul. And not only that, we have ourselves a few good beds up here. Oh my, I might need to take this, uh, for our break room later. Yeah, give me that bad boy. Someone definitely died on that testing for a zombie virus, but who am I to judge? A comfy bed is a comfy bed. And look at that, we found ourselves the next staircase. I don't know how many more levels are up here. Let's let's actually just go to the top right now. Ah! Oh my god! Why is there a zombie up here? Ah! Okay, okay. Oh, sir, get down here right now. The janitor needs to clean this up. What do I do? 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 I, I, I thought I was the only one in here. Sir, if you don't come down here, I'm gonna have to go up there myself and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to dunk on you. And I don't want that to happen to you. You seem like a reasonable person. He's not reasonable. He's infected with the madness. Here he comes. Ah, get back. Back. Back, demon. Ah, oh my god. Sir. Oh god, it broke. Ah. This will teach you to Step in my facilities. All right. Pack them up, boys. We, uh, we solved the problem. <laughs> I hope you were the only one in here, sir. Must have been my other janitor, buddy. Well, your clothes are going to be useful for making sheet ropes, so I thank you for that, at the very least. There we go. We're back at the status quo. You can, uh... We're going to need to clean this up later, aren't we? Um, I'll remember, actually, I have a perfect idea to get rid of this corpse. Hold on here. If it's outside of my building, it's not my problem. So we're just going to go pick up our friend Amundo here and just throw his corpse out the window. I'm sure you'll be fine, buddy. Bye bye. Okay, so it looks like we got some more offices here. 
why am I not surprised? The main thing is the amount of cubicles we have. These things are going to be my bread and butter and going to be the only reason why we survive this nightmare. But let's see if there's anything good inside. Cigarettes, scissors, glue, crossword magazines, which I need to uh, stave off the boredom. Oh, yeah, our, our character's not bored anymore. That, <laughs> who who would have thought that? The cure was right in front of us the entire time. What else could I say? Oh, we even got to sell some playing cards. That, that's a good way to spend our time. A few radios. We got like, we got more than enough radios, I feel, for us to survive for quite a while and use them as persistent distractions. The cool thing is, is that they last for a very long time. But uh, what else do we got around here? Another office with a nice plant. I might have to take that later. A smaller office with a smaller amount of loot, I feel. Even more radios. Oh gosh, we have so many radios. I might dismantle two of these right now and then save the last one as a distraction. There we go. Actually, I just dismantled all three. You know what? It's parts. <laughs> Uh, dang it. Oh, a gunsmith journal. I love making homemade firearms in Project Zomboid. Don't kill me, ATF, please. We got a briefcase, which is absolutely useless. Oh, it's so many cigarettes, lighters, erasers. I'm just gonna, yeah, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures, brother. Yeah, that'll pad out my stomach contents. Tool disassembly, more vitamins, a big old board meeting room. I All I can smell is the planks and uh, metal scrap that will come out of that. And lastly, a really nice reception area. Holy crap. This is at the top story as well. Wow, okay. This is pretty epic. We even got like little brochures up here. Oh my, Engineer Magazine Volume 1. That allows us to make noisemakers, remote controllers. Oh yeah, and is that a recipe for Jankamite? Actually, I can't read it. Probably because I already know how to make Jankamite, but that's still pretty cool. Other than that, we have four annotated maps, six Louisville maps, which is perfect for me. Let's actually read these right now. There's a pizza lady, there's a hot dude selling burgers, and Sincilla's gonna be awesome. Okay, this is definitely before, you know, the apocalypse. What else do we have here? Uh, more bathrooms. Okay, I'm guessing this is more bathrooms. Yippers, anything in the trash? A uh, garbage can and a pop can. Oh, uh, we got another like little research slash surgery room. Whole bunch of supplies in here. Mainly those sleeping tablets are pretty epic. Some pop and orange soda. And is that a freaking burrito? Oh, oh my. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Oh gosh, these guys were eating like kings. Hell yeah. I'm taking the rest of these for snacks later. That's it though. Anything else in here? A couple of water bottles, a dead rat, that's food. Beggars can't be choosers. Antidepressants. You know what? I feel like we're going to be on these like quite a bit. So we'll, we'll might as well pop one right now. Just get that ball rolling a bit. And yet another office. How am I not surprised? Ow! Okay, I just tripped. I was not, I did not mean to do that. Oh, is that the miracle dance? Okay, I like that. I, I'm, I'm really keeping an eye out for a uh, sea shanty. You know, I feel like that'd be a really good song to play in the middle of a very messed up apocalypse, you know? But sadly, we have not found that yet. Yeah, just a bunch of junk and water coolers, which I'll need to uh, salvage later. Please don't tell me there's another zombie up here. Uh, just in case, I'm going to drop off this garbage bag. <laughs> you never know, and um, I need to be ready for a fight. Hammer's coming out. All right, I'm as ready as I'm ever going to be. <laughs> I swear, if you had a friend, I'm going to have to kill him terribly. Hello? Okay, it's just empty, and uh, we made it to the roof of this... Big building, oh. All right, this roof ain't gonna have much for us to do on at all. But what I can do is get a good survey of the area to figure out where to go next. And to just kind of like, you know, let the fact sink in that this world is uh, no longer my own and um, I am very much prey in this predator's world. So we have a few residential homes down that way. A uh, zippy market with even more residential areas, a Starbucks, and oh my gosh, that's that's a lot, man. You know, maybe times four population wasn't it, but we have that as well. These are all sprinters, by the way. They're all little, like, crackheads, which is fun. Okay, uh, maybe the zippy market, but there's no way I'd be able to actually defend that without getting just dogpiled by hundreds of zombies. Okay, what about down here? This seems to be like a construction site. I could work with that. I might be able to bridge on over, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. But what would it accomplish? 
A little bit better than the other two, but still kind of out there. Down here, I see what might be a set of offices, even more zombies, and is that a junkyard down there? Alrighty, that might be the vibe. I wish I could get a bit better of a look, but if that's completely fenced in, I might be able to go in there all stealth mode and did not attract half the damn town to my location. Okay, that's a good sign. I like that. I like that a lot. Lastly, in this corner, we got a dead fossil truck and what seems to be a like mini mall down there. It's really hard to tell. So we have a few options. All of them are dangerous. I was really hoping there would have been a nearby skyscraper, but that is not the case. Yeah, just kind of slowly realizing that old uh, Todd Weston here is kind of screwed. <laughs> uh, it'll be fun to see how we get ourselves out of this one. Anyways, it's about time we head back to our nice little base and drop off everything before it, uh, you know, rots away. Oh, I left the coffee maker on. I was just dropping off some of our loot here, and that's a... I'm glad I picked that out. That could have ended in disaster. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, before we do sleep though, I'm gonna go grab that medical bed and slap it down real fast. Now that is a bed fit for a king. Don't mind the uh, or the, the wood rubbish on top of it. We'll, we'll settle that out later. I think it's about time we get some sleep on to day number three. All right, that went exceedingly well and I think we're in a pretty comfy spot. We were able to set up uh, a nice few bits of inventory stockpile. There are still some spots that I haven't looted in this research facility, and there's, you know, so much furniture for us to grab as well. But I think next episode, we're going to finally start to uh, plan for our next target. Isn't that exciting? Todd here is just going to help himself to uh, some nicely made coffee beverage fun stuff. And I guess I will see you all next episode. I am very curious to see how this series will turn out. Remember, we're not completely stuck here. We do have our little escape right up here. Though I'd probably want to survive like 60 days before I make it over. You know, something to show that I could survive. But yeah, this bad boy... Right there, that's gonna be the ticket. Anyways, peace the hell out everyone.